I would like to introduce you to one of my favorite cocktails at the moment. It's called a gin and it fizz. And it's got some Bombay Sapphire, some Martini Rosso, and then some Fever Tree Bitter Lemon. And it's a really lovely long, it's kind of a twist on a gin tonic, but it's also a twist on a gin and it, which means a gin and an Italian vermouth, as opposed to a gin and French, which was with French vermouth. But then we're just making it a little bit longer with the lemon tonic there. So we're gonna start off by grabbing a nice big uh, copper de balloon glass, or big burgundy wine glass, and we're gonna fill it full of cubed ice. We're gonna grab our big bar spoon, and then give that a stir just to chill the glass and start to activate the ice cubes, start them melting a little bit, and get down to the cold core part of the ice cube. This is gonna melt it a little bit, so then we're gonna grab our Hawthorne strainer, which is this funky looking thing, and then just pour off any excess water into the sink. So that's our glass prepared. And for me, it's all about the rituals of this. So it's about getting the glass ready, and then we're gonna get our garnish ready. So we want for this a nice big lemon wedge and also an orange wedge. So just cut the lemon in half down through the length, again in half through the middle, turn it over and a 45 degree angle, and you've got one wedge of lemon. Same for the orange straight through the middle, flat on the board, then it's not rocking and railing, you're not going to have the risk of cutting your fingers. Again, 45 degree angle, cut that and you've got a lovely orange wedge. So back to the glass, take our lemon wedge, give it a little squeeze over the ice there, pop that in, take our orange wedge, squeeze that over the top, pop that in, then we're ready for our ingredients. So we take our Martini Rosso, which is a really delicious, sweet vermouth, and we want 25 mils. So one part of Martini Rosso, two parts of the Bombay Sapphire Gin, so 50 mil. In that goes. Just pour it straight over the top, and it's going to start to capture all those lovely flavours of the orange and the lemon in there. Give that a stir down, just to bring the temperature of the liquid to the temperature of the ice. And then we take our tonic water, so in this case it's a bitter lemon, basically lemon, a really lemony tonic water, and we're going to pour it down the bar spoon to retain the effervescence. So I just put my thumb on top of the spoon there, let go of that bit, and then pour it 90 degrees straight down the bar spoon. We can even, with a bit of practice, actually stir the drink at the same time. And that, for me, is the gin and it fizz. It's a long, refreshing drink with a bit of kind of herbaceous tendencies to it. So let's give it a go and have a taste. You smell that orange, the lemon, of course, the Martini Rosso, and then the botanicals in the gin. Oh, wow. It's kind of like, it's a gin tonic, but sort of not as you know it. It's just on a whole nother level. A little bit more complex, but it's not as sort of bitter sweet as a Negroni might be. It's got that orange bitter liqueur in it with the Martini Rosso and the gin. And the thing with this is you can buy all the ingredients from any supermarket pretty much in the whole world, you know? Bitter lemon, Rosso, Bombay Sapphire, they're there, orange and lemon, they're super easy to get hold of. It's a tasty drink. I hope you enjoy it at home. Cheers. Cheers.